Transcendental Meditation. It's a simple, natural, effortless technique that allows your active thinking, noisy, active thinking mind, like waves on the surface of the ocean, the noisy, active thinking mind, it allows the mind to just effortlessly settle down to experience a state of calm and quiet that we all have inside, deep within, but we've lost access to. Like an ocean has waves on the surface and the depth of the ocean is silent. You see the waves, but the silence at the depth of the ocean, equally natural, just lost access. So every human being has a level of the mind deep within that's already quiet. We don't have to muscle it. We don't have to force it. We don't have to believe in it. It's there. And this is a simple, natural, effortless technique that allows anyone to access that at will, as Jerry was saying. It's much easier to do TM than fall asleep. I mean, falling asleep can be much a battle. Much easier. Much. You do this much every easier. time. Absolutely every time. And when your mind settles down, your body gets this very profound state of rest. That deep rest eliminates the buildup of fatigue and stress and tension. And there's hundreds of studies now published in all the top peer-reviewed scientific journals that shows this technique eliminates stress, promotes clarity of thinking, focus, creativity, more energy, and uh, allows a person to be successful in whatever they're doing without, as you said, that stress, which you don't want. The way I look at life, uh, basically, is it's exhausting. And uh, <laughs> I mean, I've always said to people, you know, for the years I would, you know, doing meditation in the middle of the day, and I would always say, I can't, to the people that don't do it, I would say, I can't believe you stay up all day. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good, <laughs> you know, because I can't, I can't do it. Is it only physical, the recharging? Do you notice anything with your mind, clarity? I'm a mean? person, I'm a big exerciser as well. I, I, uh, I'm a big uh, gym guy. I love to go. I don't love it. But I, I just believe in it. And uh, I'm a very much, I don't separate the mind and the body as a thing. Mm -hmm. uh, if my body's tired, my mind's tired. If my mind's tired, my body's tired. So you meditate now in the morning. And how do you feel, you know, before your morning meditation? Because you had said we had this uh, gala a week or so ago. Mm -hmm. and, and you talked about, at first you were wondering, why should you meditate in the morning? Yeah, why would you rest after you just got out of bed? <laughs> but... Um, and I said at the thing, Bob likes this, that if you get up out of your bed and you turn around and you look at it, it doesn't look like what happened in there was very restful. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like a war just went on in there. So, but what TM is, the phone charger is pretty tough to beat as an analogy because your phone charger never doesn't work. Unless it's sometimes you, you haven't got it all the way in the outlet, you know? You look at it and say, how come it didn't charge? It's always a little out of the outlet. And you go, oh, I didn't push it all the way in. And then it always works. And that's the great thing about TM is you never have to wonder, you know, let, let's say you got a big day. And the night before you think, all right, I wanna, I'm going to get to sleep early and I don't want to mess around tonight. I'm not going to watch junk TV. I want to get to sleep. I want to get a good night's sleep. But you're still just kind of hoping. You're hoping yeah. that you're going to get it. You know, and that you're going to wake up feeling refreshed. And that's the big difference between sleep and TM is you never, TM never doesn't work perfect. And so I, so I get up now and I do TM. What's your schedule like you generally? Well, do? I get up at 6, usually 6 or 6.15 in the morning because I have kids. And so I do the TM before um, they, anybody gets up. And how does it feel? It doesn't feel like anything. It doesn't do anything. I don't get it. I don't understand it. But here's the difference. At 1 o'clock, at 1 p.m. that day, my head does not hit the desk like it used to. That's when it, that's the difference. 